Our company is a part of the holding company for the production of medicines in Irkutsk. We have a variety of equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic self-adhesive labeling line. At the end of the year, we modernized and began replacing outdated and technically obsolete equipment. I have been working as a chief engineer for 20 years and know very well all the technological processes in the company. I chose new equipment to replace the technically unsuitable one on my own, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job, there was a lot of equipment on the market, processes were changed and automated. In the plans of modernization, was the purchase of a machine for packaging of PVC blisters into cardboard boxes. The packaging machine is used as part of automatic lines, at the final stage or separately. The choice of machine, depends on the materials used, and the desired output. The blisters of tablets, are placed in prepared cardboard boxes, according to the technological process of carton packaging. The blister packing process itself, or cartoner, performs in white and blue cardboard boxes of four blisters each. The old machine was constantly being repaired, and we could not deliver the drug to the customer on time. Since I had already chosen many different machines for our company, I had a little experience in picking up and remaining contacts of some reliable equipment manufacturers. I started contacting the manufacturers by telephone to find out whether they could produce a machine for packaging PVC blisters in cardboard boxes. I specified automatic control, quality stainless steel material of the equipment as the main criteria. I was not prepared to wait that long. Since I could not find a manufacturer for a PVC blister carton packaging machine, I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another option for the machine. I searched the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience with a Chinese intermediary supplying equipment when a powder filling line was brought to us, but there were no installation documents or technical data sheet. It took us a long time to set up the line. We consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online. I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All the companies I called to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company said to wait for five minutes, but she never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, the desired production time, in five days I received from them in the mail 10 variants of various machines for packaging PVC blisters in a carton box and the offer to make a choice on their own. I realized that they do not have a professional approach and I will not help me in my search for equipment. The last, third intermediary option turned out to be good for me. The mail manager talked to me like a professional. He asked me specific questions about the desired capacity of the machine, the material of bottles, told me about the terms of delivery. At the stage of consulting, he suggested the equipment for packing PVC blisters into cardboard boxes, which I was able to quickly coordinate with the management of the enterprise. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. The company specialist offered to test the machine, and asked to send blanks of our boxes, and blisters with pills. The manager informed us about the degree of readiness of the machine two weeks before delivery, and sent a video, where we could see our equipment. The equipment is controlled by the LCD screen system. The packaging process in a cardboard box is carried out in a compartment closed with plastic shields. Grouped blisters on the conveyor belt to move the materials go to the packaging. Blisters and a sheet of paper instructions with information about the purpose of the drug, the method of administration, and side effects were folded and held with the help of metal fixing devices. The finished boxes were stacked at the collection point. One month after signing the contract, we received a machine for packing PVC blisters into cardboard boxes. The manager provided us with the manufacturer's warranty, technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operation manual. We assembled the machine and trained the workers, who will be assigned to the machine within a week. We were satisfied with the equipment, though frankly speaking I was skeptical about this machine, it seemed to me that it was too difficult to operate. However, practice showed that this was the machine we needed. The competent advice saved me time and helped me to avoid mistakes, which I probably would have made if I had made the choice myself.